Hello crafty friends, this is Andrea Oki Parr with another video. Today I'm doing something a little different. Instead of just doing a journal page, I'm actually going to explore the exciting world of water-soluble oil pastels. I'm going to show a couple different ways that I like to use them. If you've never used them before, they're a great little tool, so I thought I'd show just a couple of the different ways they can be utilized. So I have two sets here. One brand is Prima. The one with the black labels is Prima. And the other brand is Mungio. And both of them are very similar in color. You can see they have almost the same colors. And they behave very similarly. And they're in a comparable price range. So either of those brands are my favorite. And I decided to go with Prima just for the sake of this video. But Prima actually doesn't make one whole set like this anymore. They've split, they've split their water-soluble oil pastels into two sets. There's like a basic color and a rustic color set or something. So you'd have to buy both sets if you want to get the colors that I have here. But it's pretty reasonably priced. So what is a water-soluble oil pastel, first of all? The best way that I can describe it is like it's a glorified um, crayon but it is way creamier, kind of more like a cross between lipstick and a crayon. And water-soluble means that you can manipulate them with water, which is really nice. So you can blend them, smear them, combine them, and it's done really easily just with water. And so I'm starting out, and the paper I'm using is Strathmore Mixed Media Paper. It holds up great to all sorts of wet surfaces and things that you're gonna abuse that you're gonna lay on it. And I just put down a stencil, Dina Wakely's Spaced Dots stencil, and then I'm using my beloved golden brand titanium white paint. And I laid down the dots just because I always feel like I need to start with something there <laughs> to take the pressure off, I don't know. I feel like if you have dots at least or something, you're, you're gonna have an easier time. And then I painted most of the tag white with white paint and dried it off. And the reason I wanted to start with a painted background is because these water-soluble oil pastels actually um, work really nicely on top of paint. They're a lot more forgiving. They're easy to blend on top of dried paint. And if you do something you don't like, it's super easy to wipe them off. So the first technique I'm using here is I'm just scribbling directly onto this painted tag with the water-soluble oil pastels in a couple of different colors. And you could leave it just like this if you wanted to, the rough sketchy crayon lines if you like that look. But I just got a little bit of water on the tip of my finger and then I'm just smudging them, blending them around and it is the easiest thing in the world to do, and I like the, the look it creates. And again, because these are water-soluble, all you need to make that happen is just the tiniest little bit of water, and you can blend them all around. Now, when you blend these with water, it makes it so that they're not gonna rub off as easily. So if I put a piece of paper on top of this after I've already blended them, you're not going to have a lot of the color wipe off. But if I left it without blending them, if I left it just with that crayon rough scribbly look, then the water-soluble oil pastel would probably wipe off. Well, it does wipe off on another surface. So you just want to cover it with some sort of um, top coat, you know, like a thin clear medium if you wanted to leave it like that just so that your color doesn't smudge off on whatever else you put your tag against. Now the second technique I'm using is to stamp with the water soluble oil pastels. So I'm using this stamp from Tim Holtz's Remnants stamp set and I like it because it has a lot of red rubber. So if you have more red that you're covering it's going to work better. And once I get all the scribbling done on that stamp, it's not wet enough to leave an image. So you just need to hit it with a couple of little sprays of water. And I use the Distress Sprayer to do that. So I just sprayed it a couple times and that moistens up the color 
and then when you stamp it down it, it works just like an ink and you can see here that I'm able to do you know several different stamped layers there that I could use on another project and then I just clean my stamp off with a baby wipe because I'm kind of obsessive about cleaning my stuff so stamping is fun, but again, just make sure you use a stamp that has a lot of red rubber surface area or it doesn't work as well. And so this next technique is where you can use these water soluble oil pastels as watercolors. So I've got a brush. It looks like that brush is pink, like it has pink paint on it or something. That's just the color of the bristles. This brush is not fancy. I bought it in like a 10 pack at Ross dress for less. <laughs> So that tells you that it is not a fancy artist level brush. It's just something that carries water. So all you have to do is scribble onto an acrylic block is what I use there. And then you can pick the color back up, mix it with a little bit of water, which I'm doing off screen there. I'm just getting a little water on my brush. And you can either transfer it onto your tag from the acrylic block that acts as like a little paint palette or as you can see there, I just scribbled right onto my tag with the pastel stick and then I can add water to it that way too. So however you want to do it, you just lay down the color on some removable type of surface and then you can just use it like, like watercolors. So it's kind of fun for a more subtle look if that's what you're going for. And there I am just painting away cleaning off my block of course <laughs> and then drying the tag so the next thing I wanted to show is the difference between if you decide not to paint your background paper if you just want to use these pastels on plain old paper without painting it first they work great that way too the only difference is if you did want to remove some of the color later it's harder to remove it if you haven't if you don't have that slick dried painty background first so i'm just making some circles i drew the outlines with a permanent black pen and i'm just coloring them in and i'm just using strathmore mixed media paper and then all i'm going to do once again is blend them with water and this time i thought i'd try it with a water brush and again this is just a no-namer water brush it doesn't have to be anything fancy you don't know what a water brush is it's a brush that holds water <laughs> and you just fill it up with water and then you squeeze it a little bit and the water comes out through the bristles of the brush and it works pretty much like a watercolor brush but you got the water right there in the main part of your of your brush instead of having to dip it in so that's kind of a close-up so you can see what it looks like on normal paper and again the only difference is if you wanted to sort of wipe off the color it's harder to do unless you have a painted background so I fast forwarded myself cutting out those circles figured you didn't want to watch me spend you know 10 minutes cutting circles so I sped that up and then here I go into obsessive mode you can see it in real life and I can't decide what to do with these circles <laughs> so I cut one out so it's sort of a ring but then I didn't like that and so now I'm just adding some various text paper that I'm also cutting free-handed into little circle shapes and moving stuff around didn't like that so I moved it again eh didn't like it but I'm finally at peace with that arrangement so I go for my trusty glue stick and I get everything glued down and yes I have glued my tags to my under paper before and I have glued my sleeves to myself before <laughs> I've had all sorts of glue disasters in my day, so if you've had that happen, then um, we're probably glue disaster soulmates. And so once I get all of my little scraps glued down, I'm trying to think what else this thing needs. And of course it needs washi tape 
This is MT brand. They have a lot of polka dot washi tapes that are just polka dots in all sorts of different colors, so I use those a lot. And I figure that's looking okay. And then just because I do this all the time, I blend sort of the edges of what I glued on there with white. So that again is my golden brand titanium white. And I'm just going blendy and trying to get everything a little more universally blended all together. So it's not so much like, hi, I glued on a circle here. <laughs> so there I am doing that and drying it off. And then I think it needs a little more definition on the edges. So once again, this is the technique where you can use just your oil pastel, water soluble oil pastel right on the tag. But I also wanted to show you how easy it is to wipe it off if you change your mind. So I'm going to town with these dots and I'm thinking they're a little too bold. So you can see how easily you can just take a baby wipe and basically tone down whatever you just did and you can wipe off pretty much what you just put there, which is a nice feature if you're not quite sure what you wanna leave and what you wanna have on your tag still. I thought a little more washi tape was in order. This one's from Basil Basics from who knows how long ago. But there I am being uh, indecisive again about where to, where to end with that washi tape. I thought it needed a little more brightness, so scribble, scribble. There I am again, just with the scribble technique and then the blending with just a little bit of water on my fingertip. And again, if you did this and hated it, you could just use a baby wipe and wipe that orange right off from where you just had put it if it's painted on the background. So I'm liking it. I'm thinking it's time to add a little sentiment. So I just cut this sentence out of a large print book um, and I decide to glue that on. Now at this point in the process, my precious little five-year-old daughter comes into my room to see what I'm up to. And I'm just about to show a technique where I get the water soluble oil pastel wet and then I flick it so it splatters little dots on the tag. That's the final technique that I wanted to show. But as you will see, I have a disaster so I'm gonna turn off this voiceover that I've been doing and just let you hear my daughter's commentary as the next disaster happens. So here you go. Cover that up, because I don't wanna get it on there. I'm just gonna spray some water on this. Get it nice and wet and watch this. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> no. You okay. broke it. Well, yeah, I did. Bad idea, Mama. I know. Before. Mm -hmm. Man, you gotta start practicing crafting, crafting again. Yep. Why did you? Why did you do? Why did you do that? Why did you make it black? I just like some little black dots on there. Well, everyone, there you have it. The last technique I was trying to show you was to get your pastel wet and then just flick it and get some nifty little specks and splatters but i got too close to the table when i was flicking and i snapped it right in half so as my daughter said i guess i better practice my crafting some more <laughs> but here is the end result go out and try some water soluble oil pastels they're not scary they're a lot of fun you can do it and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time